CBC has obtained a series of intelligence reports from the Philippine military. It's harrowing reading. The reports identify some of the kidnappers by name, that some took part in the beheading of a German tourist just last month. And the man who beheaded the Canadians is apparently well known by his nickname, Boy Tattoo. He is still at large. Understandable, then, that Tess Floor is terrified. She was the Filipina girlfriend of Canadian Robert Hall, was captured with him. The kidnappers eventually let her go when a ransom was paid for a Norwegian hostage. But she knows what they look like, and they know her. I am not really 100% free because I am still scared. Sometimes I am still scared. I regret because... I, I, I was thinking that I did my best because I, I always, I did lots of things to, to help Robert, to save Robert's life, but it's not working. Floor says Robert Hall dreamt of a Canadian forces rescue. It didn't happen, but the hostages knew someone was trying to save them. She talked of persistent firefights, and the Philippine military backs up her claim, says the effort was so intense to get both the Canadian and some Vietnamese hostages that roughly 30 men were killed trying. Major Philemon Tan says his soldiers got shockingly close. I can generalize, tell you that it's just 100 or so, 100 or 50 meters. That close. A hundred meters and still they couldn't do it. That's as frustrating as knowing the names of the kidnappers and not being able to arrest them. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, Manila.